Hi friends, welcome to Ashok IT. My name is Ashok. In the last video, we discussed what is array, how to create array, and how to declare the array. Now, in this video, we are going to write one program to match two arrays into single array. Let us see here, int array is having three elements. Int array b is having three elements. I want the output as combination of these two arrays. All right. Let us see how to do that. Here I am taking a program, first array having three elements, the length of the first array is 3 and the second array having three elements, the length of the second array is 3. Now I want to merge these two arrays into single array. Here three elements available, here three elements available. So if I merge, I am going to get six elements. So I am going to create one new array with a size as a 6. New integer that is a dot length plus b dot length a dot length plus b dot length that means 3 plus 3 it is going to give the length as 6 because in future array a may have more elements array b also may have more elements that's why instead of hard coding the size i'm calculating the length of a length of b and i'm adding them so my array c is created when the array c is created six indexes will be created in that six indexes first we need to store array a values then we need to store array b values for integer i is equal to 0 i less than a dot length first i am traversing the first array and i am going to store the first array data into third array c of i is equal to a of i what it is going to do it is going to take all the values from the first array and it is going to store into second array Alright, so now what will happen, once this loop is completed, then it is going to store in the second array, three indexes will be created, right? One will be created, two will be created and three will be created. The remaining three will be zeros, default value. Now first array values are stored in the third array. Now I need to store the second array values also into third array. How can we do that? I am going to take one more loop. For integer i is equal to zero, i less than b dot length. Now I am going to traverse second array to store the data. Then I plus plus. Right. Now here I need to store the B array data into third array. In the third array already first array data is stored. Zeroth index is having the value. First index also having the value. Second index also having the value. In the last three indexes I need to store the data. So I need to store the data from here to here. Already in the zeroth position, first position, second position, first array data is stored. So we should not, we should not take it as C of i. If you take C of i, then what will happen? It will become C of 0. C of 0 means already it is having the data here. So what I will do is C of i plus a dot length. Wherever first array length is ended, from there I am going to start the second array values. C of i plus a dot length is equal to B of i. That means i value is starting from 0, b of i nothing but b of 0, 4 value, where it will store 0 plus a dot length, a dot length is 3, so 0 plus 3, it will become c of 3, c of 3 means it will store the fourth value here, then it will take b of 1, b of 1 will be stored 1 plus 3, it will be stored here, then it will take b of 2, b of 2 means it will take the sixth value, sixth value will be stored, that is 2 plus 3, 5, it is going to store here. So like this, we are going to store two arrays values into single array. Then let me print that final array which we have prepared, system.out.println, arrays.toString. Arrays is a predefined class which is available to print array element by using this toString. Good. Now see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. First array data and second array data is merged into third array. Look at the logic here. First array having three values, the length is three. Second array having three values, the length is three. I want to merge these two arrays into single array. I am creating a new array in the line number 14 with the size a dot length plus b dot length. That means it will become six. New array will create new array is created with the size as six. Then I am traversing first array. First array data I am traversing from 0th index and I am storing into third array, which is newly created. So first one, two, three will be stored. Then I am traversing the second array. Second array having three values. Those three values I need to start in the last three indexes. How to access these indexes? 
i plus a dot length wherever a values are stored from the from next position i need to store the b array values so this will do that finally i am printing that when i execute it you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 that's it guys thank you